Hi, I'm General Paul and welcome to my tutorial for a super cheap and easy T flip flop. T flip flops are very useful when working with redstone. What they do is convert a redstone pulse into a constant toggable redstone output. This can allow you to have multiple switches that control the same device, which is very handy when building redstone doors. This design is my favourite as it's so simple and cheap, it, it doesn't require any iron, the only things you need to build it are two redstone torches, three redstone repeaters, some redstone and a stone button. Okay, so let's get started. So first I'm going to put down a balloon block here and here. And then I'm going to put a redstone torch on the side there and on the side here. Next, I am going to place a repeater here, like so. Another repeater here, facing this block here, and I'm going to put that up to full ticks. And finally, I'm going to place another repeater here, like so. And now to complete the T flip flop, I just need to add some redstone here and here. Okay, so this is our basic design here. I'll show an operation, put a button here so this is our input block so when I press this button you can see the switch and turns on I press the button again and it toggles off okay so let's say show this in use so I'll just put down a redstone lamp here I'll show how you can have multiple buttons controlling the lamp so I'll put down a block here and another block here and link them up with redstone so you can see these two blocks are now going into our input block I'm going to put a switch on both of these blocks when I press the switch our lamp comes on press it again lamp goes off so if I put it back on again I can switch over to this block and this switch turned off enabling you to be able to turn on from one switch and then turn off from another switch. Very useful for whenever you're trying to make doors in red this redstone. So there you have it, a, a very very simple circuit, very very cheap. Now one thing I will mention about this design is that it does require stone buttons. Wooden buttons will not work with this design. So if you like this tutorial please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.